And the first step is to undo the kit. And the instructions. the base and the two cleats is the cover cover level wrapped taped in a, a different color tape to the actual box level which are green Sort of separators and the ply, which goes part of the separator, and the inspection panels. Don't need them until the very end once you've got bees to put in. And then there's a piece of then there's a tile drilled, which becomes the top of the cover but important for assembly. And then the various components you have neoprene washers that fix the tiles the To the cover, the screws to hold the levels together, the actual screws that hold the base uh, cleats together, A and neoprene washers that are the spaces for the separator. Two, two packs of uh, 12 mil by 4 gauge screws which are for holding separators or uh, and take them out and the fly and some small very small screws 2 gauge screws but temp temporarily holding the reversibly holding the large separator. Then you can remove the packaging, you don't need that anymore. Box. First step is to assemble the base. Just need to make sure that there's there's no distortion in this in the base and to make sure that this goes across the grain. The grain is running in this direction, so this goes across the grain. And put a clamp. Typically in the middle. Four screws. These are the seventy five mil screws. Okay. 
around and I mentioned in the instructions that this drain hole needs to be visible one of these it just confirms you've got the the cleat in the right direction used heavier screws uh, and I do suggest uh, pre-drilling for the heavier screws now the next step is to start assembling the levels I start with one of the levels that form the actual nest the three, the three that are taped in green. So, uh, assemble them on their top, on their upper surfaces. Now, two have, have been modified to form the ultimate. Uh, entrance they've got to go together so they basically that sets them out now you have your glue is always try to use enough but not too much glue then push them firmly together the objective is to get these corners lined up and as a when you get the final test you've got to try and get these surfaces lined up as well Objective of this is to try and get a complete a complete barrier in that seam to the larvae of surfed fly. Then now in the instruction manual which I did suggest that you should read I've given a couple of videos on using this and I suggest putting it over the levels tight it like a bowstring and that's what I mean by that Doesn't need to be anything more dramatic than that. Then and then twisting on the tile. And finally testing those surfaces. Now you can gently Check. Now 
Now, I typically just put them aside. And start the next one. Now we've got the two surfaces at the corners that need to be together. Put them together. The other two as they happen to be. String the string that will always tangled up. A little bit too much glue there. I just find it easier to put a knot, a knot on the corner. And the bowstring again. The tension on that one was a little bit better than the first one. With the damp cloth you can take excess glue off. You just need to be very, very gentle with with those because obviously the glue hasn't set. If you if you have a big flat surface uh, or if you have multiple tiles uh, use the multiple tiles rather than to stack them
from him on just trying to get the corners in tight and close now I mentioned in the instructions that my recommended glue was tight bond tight bond Ultima 3 but I'm actually using Sudel water resistant PVA here basically because it's available in the hardware store down the road but I've also found that different PVAs differ in their consistency and Sudel is actually no, I'm just lying out. Is Sudel is actually very good in being just that little bit thicker. I don't know why, but it is. And that helps in This one's taking a little bit more positioning. It's important to make sure those surfaces are very close. This is the one that really matters up here. And the last step, just a little wriggle on the tiles, just helps everything line up. And gently lift. And if you put them at, at an angle on the, the one below, there's little chance of glue sticking. And last but not least, the set of sides that become the cover. Different because most of them won't have an entrance drilled into them. The entrance in the, in the cover can be interesting. I've had resin bees move in and set up residence in there if I don't put a stopper. while that can be quite entertaining uh, not necessarily what you want now, if you Put this line of glue in at least that centimetre from the edge. It's not going to run outside or less likely to. Now you'll know that I've had to adjust this one up, there's a few knots there. And I try to get this loop down around the midline. And again, that both string tie. Long that up. Long that up. 
Open that up. Carefully turn over. Sometimes when you turn them over, you just realise that the one piece is just tilted a little bit. That is, that's what happened in that case. But they should all come pretty close together. And then that final... Final check to make sure those surfaces are right. And that's it. That's the four levels done.